through South Dakota and now we're back in Iowa just for a little bit until we head down to Nebraska. So the interesting thing, two things, on our way through South Dakota we saw uh, two or three planes that were uh, crop dusting and then we saw a helicopter that was crop dusting. So that was pretty interesting to see that. The other thing was when we uh, passed over into Iowa, we are we traveling beside the Missouri River. On the east side of Iowa, it's bordered by the Mississippi River. And on the west side of Iowa, it's bordered by the Missouri. And there's an annual bike ride that they do called the Rag Dry. And the Rag Dry, you dip your back tire of your bicycle in the Mississippi River when you take off, and you dip your front tire in the Missouri River when you finish. Well, we are here in Lincoln, Nebraska at a Boondockers Welcome. And these people that um, opened up their yard for us just joined Boondockers Welcome on Saturday and we were their first guest. So um, getting down in here was a little bit tricky. If, you'll, if you see up the road, up the road there, um, the uh, driveway is a little bit curvy. So what Paul ended up doing was uh, coming through the gate backwards and backing down this driveway and coming down and parking right down there. It's right beside the tree and there's a nice shade and it, um, the guy even offered to set up his uh, barbecue grill so we can grill some chicken. So that's what Paul's doing right now. And then as we were talking with the host, he said, oh, I just got another uh, boondocker welcome uh, request. And it's those people up there, as you can see. And uh, they were, he said, y'all don't mind if, if they uh, boondock here too. We're like, no, just as long as they don't block us in when we get ready to leave in the morning. <laughs> so. Those people, they're self-contained, but so are we, but we, we needed water and the 50 amp was nice. So uh, they parked up there and we are down here in our camp spot for the evening. So it was a little bit tricky, Paul backing up, but we got in and we're doing great. Weather's uh, nice right now, wind's blowing, blue skies, and uh, we like Nebraska, but probably not in the winter time. Well, hey y'all, we are in Nebraska. We're just uh, outside of Lincoln, and we've stopped here at a Boondockers Welcome for the evening. The guy's got some 50 amp hookup and some water that he was able to get to us for our tractor. And he even said, well, what are you gonna do for supper tonight? And Sarah said, we've got some chicken we're gonna do. And he said, well, I've got a cooker over here we can fire up. So he brought some wood over and he put it down in the bottom of an old tractor bucket. And so he's got a, a grill made that sits over top of it. And Sarah comes around, you see a bunch of wood in there, and we've got some chicken on it. We've got some corn that we got at our last, our, our Boondockers Welcome. They went out in their field and said the corn was just getting ready, so we picked the corn and brought it to us. So we're cooking the corn over the fire in the husks. And we've got the chicken going. In about 30 minutes or so, everything ought to be ought to be about done. So this is kind of one of the most unique grills I think I've ever seen, but it works. So we appreciate Doug and, and all his help with setting everything up and looking forward to meeting, getting back with him this evening and meeting his wife and enjoying a good supper. So until later we say, bye y'all.